On this video, we're gonna take this smart switch by Tekken and we're gonna replace it with this TP-Link CASA smart switch dimmer. So the one that's got power coming in, we're gonna take that one and connect it to our line, which is the black screw. And the load, which is the second black one that's got nothing coming into it right now, that one is gonna get connected to the red screw. So it remembers the state that you set when you turn that on and off. You can program this room to be bedroom two and you can say, hey, Google, turn on bedroom two lights, things like that, but you have to configure it. Um, just like this one, that's a tech and works with Google and Alexa and smart things. The difference is that every time the power goes out in the house, you have to reset the settings and reprogram the smart fight option. The CASA are, these are 2022s. This one is in 2019, so maybe that has something to do with it. Also, if you happen to have a smart switch and it's a dimmer, then you may get a little bit of a hiss, like a quiet hiss. This one is also a dimmer, very affordable. We got a pack of three, um, definitely worth it. So this one has a dimming option here. This is the on and off. When you click it and you happen to be dimmed down, it will remember that state. Also, it's obviously programmable for scheduling, so you can program it to turn on automatically. That's really good for outdoor lighting. The lights will turn on and off automatically, so we don't have to bother. But anyways, enough of that. We're gonna get into the actual swappage. I wanna preface this by saying, unless you're a certified electrician, do not attempt to do anything. This is for entertainment purposes only. Everything that I'm doing is really a green screen. It's not real. I'm doing CGI animation, blah, 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 blah. If you happen to do it, though, uh, make sure you turn off all the breakers and all that good stuff. We are gonna be doing this up in the live circuit. This is Fluke Volt Alert Pen. Definitely wanna have something like this so you know exactly where the load is. So there are one, two, three, four cables here. You've got your black, nothing here. That's your line, that's your load. Then you got your white neutrals and then you got your ground. The colors are not necessarily correct. I can see right here that this white is really the neutral because it's actually connected to the back of the metal can. Okay, so let's get this done. I definitely recommend having um, screwdrivers with rubber and, and the reason being is electricity does not travel through rubber. Right? That's rubber right here. So if I touch this, for example, this is, you can see that nothing happens because again, I'm protected by rubber. If I were to take these off and touch with a uh, metal, then that would create a giant spark and it'll probably trip the breaker. And when you take out the cables, you want to do them one by one so they don't actually touch each other either because that will create a spark. We can use the volt alert pan to see if there's actual electricity going through this. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And of course that one does have it. So this is your ground. So this one, of course you can touch no problem. All right, so that one's good. Now we're gonna take our neutral. Neutral came out, and again, of course, I can touch it because no power, see? So I can touch this, no problemo. But again, make sure that these do not touch the metal or any other cables, okay? Okay, so those two are good. Now we're gonna take out our load, and it came out quite easily. That one also, nothing here. So be gentle with the cables because if you have old cables and you start bending them, they can actually crack. And finally, the last one, carefully all right that came out no problem the next thing is to grab our brand new switch and here it is so this one has got only two cables the white which is our neutral so the neutral gets connected in here so we are going to actually take out that and we're going to remove this cable because this is just an extension as the previous one didn't have any cables right and then we're going to take this attach it to that one first then we're going to take the ground we're going to remove this one there's no need for this one. We're actually gonna take this and directly attach it to the can at the very back there. And then this one and this one, we are going to attach right over here. We unscrew this, not all the way. We don't want the screw to come out, but just enough to create a little bit of a space for the cables to come in. And they're gonna kind of slide in like that. So you see, if you had two cables, they would kind of go in like this. You see that? Older ones get, there's a hole and you plug it in here, but this is a newer one, so. I prefer it that way. I do see a little bit of trouble here because that one is all tangled up, so I don't know if it's gonna go in there easy. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just gonna have to see, right? So let's go and put this cap on. All right, and now that one is protected. All right, and let's start connecting these. So first we're going to, again, remember, be careful with this one because that one's got all the power. That is our ground, so we're going to undo that screw that is connected to the metal can. Make sure you get yourself a screwdriver with a magnetic tip. Alright, so that one appears 
to be good. All right, you see how there's a loop on here? That's what we're gonna do with the green. Take this green, wrap it around your bit, and then just kind of bend it like that. That is going to create a little circle for the screw. Put that in, I guess, like this. And I'll worry about moving the cables around after. Next, let's connect our neutral. And again, we do know that the neutral is connected right here. So we are gonna go and remove this one and then gently remove that. So here we remove this. And now we're gonna take this and we're gonna connect it. When the cable starts turning with, if you turn it too high, it may actually break. So I think we're good. All right, so now we've got the two cables in. So we've got two cables left. We've got the blue, which in our case is the actual power. So the one that's got power coming in, we're gonna take that one and connect it to our line which is the black screw, and the load, which is the second black one that's got nothing coming into it right now, that one is gonna get connected to the red screw. And again, if you wanted to do an extension from here, like leading into another receptacle, you would basically feed another cable from in on the top there, because there's spots for two. And now let's go and connect the blue wire at the very bottom. And then before we actually do that, we can just tuck the screw, you see that? And then we've got light, so it's working. All right, so the blue's connected, black's connected, and now let's do a quick test. And you can see that it's red, red because it's not configured with the Wi-Fi. 